Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Thanks for being here on the Valder BB Show. I'm back. I'm back with my next guest. I've got Chef Joe Flam. Now, he's a top chef winner and a restaurant owner. Chef Flam, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thanks so much for having me. Excited to be here. Well, I went to talk with you because I have a producer who loves cheese, and I was told you know everything about Wisconsin cheese. What do you know? You know, I don't know if I know everything about Wisconsin cheese, but I know how to celebrate it, and that's what <laughs> we're doing today. So we're celebrating the 180th anniversary of cheese making in Wisconsin, uh, which is a, such a cool feat, and it's even more amazing because that's, you know, longer than Wisconsin has been a state, they've actually been making cheese. I didn't know that. That's an interesting fact. Okay, so do you have any dishes for us using cheese? Yeah, so I have a couple fun things we've done today using some proudly Wisconsin cheeses. Uh, a couple dishes I partner with my friends over there with. We made a really, really great charcuterie board today. So we have cheddar, we have Asiago, we have Gouda, um, some beautiful salumis. We did a blue cheese dip on there for all these great crispy vegetables as well. Um, another springtime fun thing we did, love asparagus this time of year. Just simple asparagus gratin baked with our Pleasant Ridge Reserve, which is a really, really fun, small artisanal cheese maker there. That cheese is actually the most awarded cheese that's ever been made in America, so it's a really, really special one. You're making me hungry early this morning. I don't know how, if I should be hungry for cheese. These uh, A charcuterie board is pretty easy to put together, but how about when I include it in a meal? Is that hard? I don't think so. I mean, this is a meal, uh, one, but I think you could also... This, for me, is like the perfect way. I love this as using it as a piece for... If I'm having people over for dinner and I know I'm going to need time when they get there to get stuff done still, if there's still things that I don't want to cook until people get there, I love starting them with the charcuterie board because what it's going to do is going to buy you a ton of time and it's going to keep people fed so you don't have those people at your house for an hour who haven't eaten anything and are starting to get a little cranky. And it's easy to put together. I just select my cheeses and my meats ahead of time and put it together on a really nice chopping board. And there you go, and you're set. You're set. You serve it up. You're ready to go. While you have that going, you can start working on your other stuff. I like that. Where do I find information to remember all the cheeses to put on a charcuterie board? Is there a place online that's in my audience? Yeah, so if you go to wisconsincheese.com, they'll give you all the recipes. You can order all the cheeses you can need for um, for your charcuterie boards, for your gratins, for, you know, if you want to make my stracciatella flatbread, that recipe is on there as well. Everything you need to celebrate cheese. One more question. What about beverages? What do I pair with this? I mean, it depends on what you're going with. I think like the gratin, I'd go a fat white wine on that. You know, like a Chardonnay, I think would be killer on that. For charcuterie, I love sparkling. Uh, you know, at the restaurant, I would do this with something, you know, like a really dry sparkling Lambrusco would be awesome uh, with this. And I think with the stracciatella flatbread, I'd go minerally, minerally and bright. Maybe a Chenin Blanc would kill. All right, then. Chef Flan, I want to ask you, you won Top Chef Season 15. How's that working for you? You know, it's been pretty all right. I got to say, it's definitely better than losing it. Um, but no, it's been awesome. <laughs> it's been an unbelievable roller coaster since day one. And I'm just having a ton of fun with it. Well, thank you so very much. And if we wanted to visit your restaurant, where are you? I'm in Chicago. I'm in Fulton Market in Chicago, 932 West Fulton. Uh, come by Rosemary Restaurant, say hi, have some cheese, and we'll uh, hang out. Now that I know you're there, the last time I was there in Fulton Market, I didn't know about you. I'll be back next time we have relatives there. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder Ribi Show. Oh, thanks so much. Come visit soon. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. 
My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.